Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> Everything almost ready, boys. Yep, everything's green for go. Man, this cake smells delicious. This kid better show up soon. Hey, well, don't worry. <laughs> Hello, Carson. Hey, Karen. Sorry I'm a little late today. Traffic was a nightmare. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'll punch you into the system. Walter is actually waiting for you. He'd like to have a word. Oh, okay. Well, uh, see you later then. Oh, here it comes. Oh. Hey, Walter. Karen said you wanted to see me. Is everything okay? Everything's fine, kiddo. I just wanted to congratulate you on officially graduating from the police academy. And we prepared a little something for you. <laughs> what? Wow. Surprise! Welcome to the police force, Carson. Wow, th thanks guys. You didn't have to do this. Wait, really? Damn. Shut up, Duke. He's joking. Now let's cut some cake, huh? You want a piece? It's your favorite. Red velvet. Yeah, I'd love a piece, thanks. But, um, was this your idea? Yeah, yeah, maybe. I just wanted you to have something special. Now that you're officially part of the team here. I remember helping to train you when you first arrived here. It's really been a journey for me watching you grow. Well, it's been a real journey. Learning under your wing, sir. Oh, don't you start that sir crap with me, okay? I'm not that old yet. <laughs> it's just Walter to you still. <laughs> okay, Walter it is. <laughs> Good. And one more thing, Carson. I don't have a son. I have my wife and daughter who I love dearly, but if I were to ever have a son, I'd hope he'd be like you. Wow, I, uh, I don't know what to say. Th thank you, Walter. It, that means a lot. Yeah, well, just know that I'll always help you any way I can. Now, come on. I don't want to start a rom-com here, so let's go eat. Not yet. Please, not yet. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you can't hide from me. <sighs> there you are. Dog, I hate this job. Pushing pencils ain't what I'm made for. I'm meant to be out on the field, like a real police dog. <laughs> Calm down there, Rambo. Paperwork's just as important as field work. Some of the hardest cases have been sold just by looking at evidence, rather than stomping around on the crime scene. Easy for you to say. You finished top of your class. Well, I can't argue with you there. <laughs> but still, it's an important job. Trust me. Chief Armstrong just messaged through. He said he'd like to see you upstairs. It's quite important. Oh, okay. I'll head up straight away. Thanks, Karen. Um, sir, you wanted to see me? Hmm? Oh, yes. Carson, come in. Mm, sir, what's this about? Tell me. 
Have you heard of Jamesville? Jamesville? Um, isn't it that small town about two hours drive from here? Bingo. The town's had a surge in disappearances within the last month. Six missing pets. I was worried, as you can imagine, so I sent Walter out there, undercover, to see if he could find anything out. And, well, uh, well what? Is Walter okay? I don't know, kid. He went radio silent about three days ago and we've had to add him to our missing pets list, making it seven. What? Do you know why he went missing? Did he tell you anything? Unfortunately not. But before he set off, he did let me know. If anything were to happen to him, he wanted you to take over the investigation. But sir, he's not in charge. You are. You have the final say on this kind of thing. I know, and my final say is that you're going to be taking over. I worked with Walter a long time. And I trust his judgment. Well, thank you, sir. But what's the plan? I want you to head out ASAP. There's a hotel there. Betty Brown's Hotel. You can find accommodation for as long as you need, but I'd prefer it if you were back within the week. If Walter disappeared, like he did, I don't want the same thing happening to you. I know this is your first undercover investigation, so you just need to bring the bare necessities with you. Clothes, money... ID and badge, but don't use them. We can't have pets there knowing you're an officer. Don't forget your weapon as well. You never know when you may need to use it. Yes, Chief. I have pretty much all those items in my backpack and car as we speak. I can head out today, get there as soon as possible. Because, as you know, the longer a pet's missing, the grimmer the outcome. Good man. Keep me posted when you arrive. Yes, Chief. Owen, oh, Carson? Uh, yes, sir? I know this must be hard for you. You and Walter were close. But just know you shouldn't let your emotions get the better of you. Especially when the time counts. I know I should remain professional as an officer, but this time it's personal. I'll find out what happened to Walter. At any cost. Just be careful. Hey, there he is. So what's the news? Uh, nothing, just talking about reports. <sighs> well, damn. This job gets more and more boring by the day. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Well, looks like the police. Oh, right, my badge. <laughs> okay, time to check this place out. I believe she's going to be hunting tonight at the Halloween party. Oh, good. I can't afford to have another clean up after last time. I'm still getting the stains off the floor. Hmm? Uh, hi. Sorry to intrude. Is this the Betty Brown Hotel? Oh, <laughs> it definitely is. As I'm Betty, how can I help you? Well, I was just wondering if you had any vacancies left. Well, yes, actually. We recently had a vacancy open up. It's quite a spacious room upstairs. Betty, isn't that... Shut up. Well, that's great. I'd be happy to take it. Swell. Just follow me upstairs and I'll show you the room. Lionel here will take care of your bag, so just leave it at the foyer. Come along. 
Hmm. Oh, look, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Whatever, city boy. Well, um, here's your room. Oh, great, I... Um... Oh, is there something wrong? Well, yeah, kind of. What happened to the door? Oh, uh, well... Well, we had a bit of an issue with the previous guest in this room, but... We've put this curtain in as a temporary door, and we're going to have it repaired very shortly. Privacy is my number one policy, and I can assure you that you will have no issues with this curtain. It's very secure, and most of the other guests are staying on the ground floor. Right. Okay. Well, if this is all you have left, I'll have to take it. It's $100 per night. You pay after your stay, and if you're staying for more than three nights, we can give you a discount. Well, I'm planning to stay around six nights. Alright, that'll be no problem. I assume you're here for the Halloween party if you're staying for that amount of time. Halloween party? Why, yes. Every Saturday in October, leading up to the 31st, Jamesville throws a Halloween party. It's a great place to, uh, meet the locals. I highly recommend it. Yeah, might have to check it out. Thanks. It's my pleasure. Tonight's Halloween party starts at 9, so I'll leave you to it. <laughs> oh, and uh, one more thing. May I get your name, please? Uh, yeah, my name's, uh, Jake. Oh, well, Jake, we look forward to having you in Jamesville. Oh, excuse me, Betty, one more thing. You didn't happen to have a Basset Hound stay with you, did you? Uh, a Basset Hound? Hmm, uh, well, um, I'm not quite sure. We get a lot of visitors here, and sometimes it's hard to keep track. Oh, okay. Well... Thanks, anyway. Yes, of course. No problem. Damn it. Doesn't look like the sturdiest privacy, but oh well. Hmm? What's wrong? It's the collie. I think he knows something. What? Why do you think that? Huh? I'll keep your voice down. He mentioned the Basset Hound. Well, that's just freaking great. What are we going to do then? I don't know. We'll just have to keep an eye on him and hope that he doesn't find out anything else. Mm. Huh? Okay then. I will. Hmm. Okay. I guess this is just a welcome message from the hotel. Wait, Walter? What the hell? Hey, Carson. This isn't the ideal situation I'd hoped for, but here we are. If you're watching this, it means I'm dead. But I needed to make this video. You need to know some things about this town. The pets here are sick. Their minds have been twisted to hate city folk. Pets like us. So when you come here, you make sure you trust no one. Not even the hotel staff. They're all scared of someone or something. They call her the siren of Jamesville. And I've heard whispers of the things she's done. Now, I'm not one to believe folklore or wives' tales, but if she's real, as real as these townspeople believe, this could change the world forever. I know she's coming for me. She found out I was a police officer and didn't like that very much. Oh, crap. Okay, just listen to me. Be careful. Don't trust anyone in this town. I'm telling you, they all know something. They're just not willing to speak. And, and make sure to check out social gatherings. That's where she hunts her next prey. <sighs> My dog. Walter stayed in this room. And if the disc was still here, that means house cleaning hasn't done a proper job. Because they were rushed. 
which means maybe there's still time to get to him. I need to find this siren. What did he say again? She likes to party? Wait, wait, the Halloween party, of course. She'll probably be there. I need to get going now. I'm just hoping I can find the place. Psst, he's here. Oh, Jake, down already? Can I help you with anything? Yes, actually. I was wondering if you could tell me where this Halloween party is taking place. I'd love to check it out. Oh, uh, of course. It's being held by one of the more well-off families in town. It's about a 20-minute walk. Big, teal house. It'll have Halloween decorations all over. You can't miss it. Just start walking north and follow the main road. You'll be there in no time. Great. Thank you. Oh, and do be careful. It's meant to get dark soon. Oh, don't worry. I can take care of myself. Did you forget what I told you earlier? She's going to be hunting at that party. Yes, I'm aware of that. Then why'd you send him? If he's looking for clues, he's definitely gonna find him at that party. Because getting him out for the night gives us a chance to find out why he's really here. Now take his bag upstairs. We're going to dump it. Uh, yes ma'am. Time to find out why you're really here. Well, this looks like the place. Did you see him? He looked like he was from the city. Hmm. Uh. Okay, we're in. Just act natural, you're just attending a party. <laughs> Guess I should just listen to some music and keep an eye out for anything suspicious. <sighs> oh, oh. Uh. Hi there. Don't look at me. Keep your eyes forward. Oh, uh, okay. Listen to me. You're not safe here. In this town, you need to leave right away. What do you mean? Is that a threat? No, it's a warning. I don't know why you've decided to come here, but you need to get out while you still can. I came here looking for someone. Someone who disappeared in this town. And I'm not leaving till I find out what's happened to them. Well, if you haven't found them yet, they're probably dead. What the? Who in dog's name was that? Stop it! Huh? No, he's coming home with me. Come on, babe. You need to go. Stop it! Okay, My yeah, mysterious come friend come can wait. Come on, babe. Come on, babe. Come on, babe. Great. You stupid mutt, get away from him! Hey, 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 is everything okay here? <sighs> oh. Everything's fine. Isn't that right? Yeah, everything's fine here. What? Are you freaking kidding me? Harold, snap out of this! <sighs> Look, I don't know who she is. And if you're gonna worry about anything, I think it should be her mental health. Oh yeah? And why should I just blindly trust you, huh? She seems pretty adamant that something's wrong here. <laughs> oh, I can tell you're not from Jamesville. Because no one in their right mind would speak like that to me. Oh, really? And is this some kind of second warning? No, no, no. That's a threat. Now that you'll excuse us, we have somewhere to be. Come on. Oh, right. Coming. <laughs> this can't be happening right now. This seriously cannot be happening. Hey, uh... I'm not really sure what's going on here. I just heard yelling, so... Do you want to maybe fill me in? Oh, 
It all started when that collie showed up. Me and my husband were just chilling out, passing through the town and decided to stop off at this party. But she approached him and just started talking. I didn't think anything of it. I just thought she was a friendly local, so I went to get a drink. But when I came back, it was like he was under a trance. A spell, even. It was like he was fixated on her. Nothing else in the world mattered. He just wanted to focus on her. I just don't understand. We've been married for three years, and he wouldn't just run off with someone like that. Something's not right. She's done something to him. I know it. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, I believe you. Trust me, she sounds like someone I've been looking for. But there's no use in you freaking out here. You're just going to draw attention to yourself and make things worse. So, where are you staying? At the Betty Brown Hotel. We were meant to leave tomorrow, but if he doesn't come back, I don't know what I'm going to do. Look, I don't have all the answers, but I think we should get you back to the hotel. I can walk you back, and then I can make a few calls. Seeing as you're from out of town, I feel like I can trust you a little bit more. I'm a police dog. Really? What are you doing here? Investigating disappearances. And I'm a tad bit worried that your husband's the next missing pet on my list. Oh, Doug, please, no. You, you have to do something. Don't worry. I'm working on it. And now that I have a pretty strong suspect, I can get in contact with my chief. So let's head back to the hotel, okay? We'll put you in your room, make sure you're all safe, and then I'll make some calls. Okay. Sounds kind of like a plan. Just make sure you find my husband, okay? And bring him back safe. I can't promise you anything, but I'll try my best. Now let's get going. Time is of the essence with cases like these. Right. They're gone. Good. Time to start preparations, everyone. <laughs> Come on through. Where is everyone? I don't know, but things don't seem very safe right now. So I think you should head back to your room, lock your door, and wait there. I'm going to go make some calls and hopefully get us some help. Okay, and thank you for walking me back. It's no problem at all. And don't worry, I'm going to find out what's happened to your husband. Now hurry along. Right. Time to make some calls. What the? Yeah, I did not leave my room like this. Crap. Oh, dog. Where's my gun? Great. Someone knows who I am. Okay, I, I can fix this. I just gotta get in contact with the chief. Of course there's no cell phone service in this backwards town. Huh? Excellent hit, ma'am. Shut up. Time up and bring him to the basement level. We have a lot to take care of tonight. Yes, ma'am. It's time you meet the siren of Jamesville. Well, I heard she's already here in the spring. The hot spring? Ugh, that place gives me the creeps. I don't even want to know what kind of things happen in there. Well, as long as we do what they tell us to do, we should be fine. So, Hazel, we're counting on you to watch over him while things are being prepared. Is that understood? Yes, Betty, I understand. I'll make sure he doesn't leave this room no matter what. 
we know that this is new to you, Hazel, but your parents had been helping us for many years before they fell ill. It's only right that you take over their position. Yes, like Lionel said. And I know this may seem morally wrong, but committing these acts, it's the only thing that's keeping this town safe. I know, it's just my first time down here and I'm nervous. But you can count on me, I swear. You'll be all right. Now if you'll excuse us, we must speak with Haruka. Hey, you, wake up. Uh, I... Where am I? What's going on? Hey, shh, would you keep your voice down? We're under the hotel right now and you're surrounded by pets. Wait a minute, you're that pet from the party. The one who told me to leave town. You're in on this? Hey, I'm not in on anything. My parents used to do this and when they got ill, I had to take over. This is my first time down here and I'm just as lost as you are. Well, seeing as you're the only pet in this town who wants to talk to me truthfully, why don't you tell me what the hell's going on in this town? It's complicated, and you probably won't even believe me. But for years now, we've had a siren living in our town. You want to explain to me what exactly that is? You've probably heard of them already. It's an old folk's tale. Sirens would lure men in and then lead them to their death. I know it sounds ridiculous, like I'm making up some kind of fairy tale, but trust me, we've been dealing with her for 10 years now. If you've been dealing with her for 10 years, I would have heard of it by now. This many disappearances in such a short time would have caught the police's attention. Yes, well in the past, she's only taken two or three pets a year. But this year, she's taken so many. She's getting dangerous, Carson. <sighs> Hold up, how do you know my name? When Betty and Lionel knocked you out and brought you down here, I overheard them talking about how they raided your bag, found out you were an officer named Carson. I had a feeling you'd be an officer when I saw you at the party. You reminded me of someone who came before. Oh really? Was he a basset hound by any chance? Y yes. He was kind. I tried to warn him as well. His name's Walter. He's a good friend of mine. And that's why I'm here. To bring him home. Right. Um... What are you looking at? Holy crap. Taxidermy. She does it to her quote unquote favorite kills. This has to end. I need to get to her before she does this to Walter. No, Carson. Trust me, you just need to leave. There's no stopping her. Take the ladder in the corner of the room and get out of here. And what? I leave and she does this to more and more innocent pets? This can't keep going on. I have to end it. Now point me in the direction of this siren. Doc, you're not gonna be able to do this alone, okay? I just barely have an understanding of this layout and you have no idea where you're going. On top of that, the room next door is littered with pets from town. You'll never get a foot out the door. Well then what do you propose we do? Um, Take this, put it on, and hop on the cart behind you. The only way to get through all those pets is to pretend that you're still unconscious. I'm gonna wheel you through. This better work. Dog, I hope this works. Hang on. There's the sacrifice. I guess the ceremony will be starting early today. Just keep calm, keep pushing. They should be in the next room. You should hop off here and sneak through. Thanks for your help. Now you should get out of here. No way. I've stood by and witnessed so many bad things happen in this town. I can't let it go on. So anything you need, 
I'm there to help. Fine. Just don't let yourself be seen. Yes, I completely understand, Haruka. Okay, come through. Wow, I've never been in here before. I've only seen it through the doors. Well, listen, I need you on standby. There's a cave over there. Looks like it has some kind of electrical wire. I think I have a plan. So if you can stay next to that cave unseen and wait for my call, we might be able to end this once and for all. Okay. Gotcha. Hey, over here. Huh? Huh? My dog. What's going on? I don't know. Hazel was meant to be watching him. What is going on here? How did you get here? Why don't you tell me, seeing as you two knocked me out and dragged me down here? You're nothing but a mutt, and you will pay for this. Haruka, please, accept our apologies. This isn't what we planned. I don't know how we got out. Just leave us. What? I said, leave us. I'll take care of him on my own. Yes, ma'am. So you're Carson, hmm? or was it Jake? Forgive me for not knowing, it's difficult when pets aren't truthful. It's Carson, and the same could be said for you, posing as an average pet, but I know what you really are now. Oh really? And what am I? You're a siren, and you're responsible for all those missing pets. All those murdered pets. Well, congratulations on solving the missing pets. What do you want, a cookie? <laughs> no. I want to know why you're doing this, and why these townspeople are helping you. Because it's what I've been doing for centuries, long before you were even born. If you had the chance at immortality, and all you had to do was take a few measly lives, wouldn't you? And the fact that these townspeople grovel at my feet, knowing that if they step to me, I can break them in half with a snap of my paws? I have unlimited power, unlimited time. It's what every pet could ever wish for. But why kill them? What does that give you? Every pet has a life source. Some call it a soul. And when you die, that soul is released. And by killing a pet, you can consume their soul, giving you unimaginable powers. You make me sick. Your species should have died out a long time ago. We almost have, but I'm determined to bring it back. I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure my species continues. And if that means killing you and that stupid hound, so be it. The hound? Walter. <laughs> You killed him? Of course I did. A nosy police dog snooping around as if I would let him get out of here. Walter, no. What, didn't you see him? He was in the same room you were when you woke up. <laughs> no, not, not Walter. Oh, cry me a river. I've had enough of this. Let's begin. Wait, wait. Shh. It's okay. I'm here. Follow me into the hot spring. The water's perfect. No, I... I... Uh, uh, okay. No. <laughs> Good, Carson. Mm -hmm. I often take pets here. I find it's easier to drown than to plainly kill. Uh huh, I see. <laughs> Lie down in the water, Carson. Right. Mm. Damn it. Carson, snap out of it. You. 
I knew this mutt couldn't have gotten out of that room by himself. Of course you helped him, didn't you, Hazel? And I'd do it again in a heartbeat. You can't keep controlling this town. Oh, really? Watch me. I usually kill men, but I think after Carson, I can make an exception for you. Oh, no. Carson, please wake up. Mm. 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 Please, you can't give up. Snap out of it. It's no use now. His soul will be mine. <laughs> Die? <laughs> no. Carson. Carson? <laughs> Hazel, pull the plug now. Uh, right. Okay, now what? Uh, put it in the water. Quickly. Okay, okay. Okay, why is it in the water? Turn it on. You think knocking me over can stop me? No, I don't. But this can. Now. Okay. That's enough. Turn it off. Is it over? I is she? I... I think so. Come on. We have to get going. What have you done? Saved you and your miserable town. Now get out of my way. Uh. Carson, uh, are you okay? You almost drowned in there. I'm fine. I'll recover. But I gotta ask you though, why didn't you tell me about Walter? I'm sorry. I didn't want to tell you because I wasn't sure how you'd react. I thought maybe you'd think I was involved. Well, were you involved? No, I swear. I don't even know how he died. Well, do you at least know where he is? Every officer deserves a proper burial. Yes, he is in the fridge behind you. He was being prepped for taxidermy. Walter, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't save you, man. You didn't deserve that. You didn't. None of them did. I'm sorry, Carson. I'm sorry that I couldn't do more to save him. No, I, I don't blame you, okay? It's not your fault. You were outnumbered. If you tried anything, you'd probably be in the same position as him. We have to get back to Ark City Police Station. They'll know what to do. Come on. Goodbye, old friend. Welcome back. 
We're just here to speak to the chief about a few things. Of course. He's with someone right now, but you can head through to the desk area and wait there. Okay, thanks. Go on. Well, I'll be damned. Look what the cat dragged in. <laughs> it's good to see you, kid. Yeah, wow. Hey, Carson, are you uh, coming back to work? Uh, not quite yet. We're sorting some things out, but it's good to see you guys. Yeah, feels like it's been forever. Oh, Carson. Angie, uh, uh, hey. Hey. Been a while. Yeah, I, uh, dog, Angie, I'm, I'm so sorry that I couldn't get to him in time. Please, I, I'm so sorry. Hey, there's no need for that, Carson. You did everything you could, and Walter would be so proud of you. The autopsy said he died before you even arrived in the town. There was no way you could have saved him. And I know wherever he is, he is looking down and watching over you, okay? So you don't need to apologize. I don't know. I, I just feel like I could have done more. You couldn't have, Carson. Trust me, I'm not angry at you. We're grieving through this together. Walter treated you like his son. You're practically part of our family. So why don't you come over this weekend and we can chat? Okay? Yeah, I, I'd like that. Thank you. It's no problem. Now I gotta get going. I gotta pick up Allie from school. So, I'll see you on the weekend. Hmm. Who was that? Her name's Angie. She was, uh, Walter's wife. Oh. I hope she's doing alright. Yeah, me too. But, come on, we gotta go see the chief. Right. Hey, Chief. What'd you call us in for? Uh, Carson. Hazel. Glad you made it. We uh, need to discuss a few things. All the townspeople that were involved in the kidnappings are going on trial this week, and we need witnesses. Hazel, you witnessed these kidnappings most of your life, but would you be willing to get up on the witness stand? Um, sure. If it means making all this stop... I'll get up there in a heartbeat. Great. Makes our job a hell of a lot easier. It's gonna be difficult. Proving to them that a mythical creature did all this, but... I believe you. So, we have to do what we can. Another thing, though. Because you're a vital witness, we're going to have to put you in witness protection. Which means changing your name. Do you have anything in mind? Uh, I'm not really sure. Could I maybe have some time to think about it? How about Angel? Angel? Uh, what? I'm serious. Without you, I would have just been another missing pet. So how about Angel? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Angel it is then. Great. I'll start the paperwork straight away. But as for you two, just relax. There's no rush right now. Take a breather. You earned it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Hey, Carson, wait up. Hmm? One of our officers found this. It's Walter's badge. And I'm sure he would have wanted you to have it. Wow, uh, thank you. This really means a lot, Chief Armstrong. Don't mention it, kid. Now go on, get out of here. Yes, sir. Come on, let's go get some lunch. Hope you're proud of him, Walter.